Your love for cheese and hamburgers is exacerbating the water crisis in the West. I know that's controversial to say, but hear me out. So the New York Times recently published a graphic that shows where all the Colorado River's water goes. And spoiler alert, it's mostly used to grow food for cows. Now, the researcher behind the data that led to that graphic has spent decades raising awareness about global water scarcity and published a study in 2020 about how shifting the crops farmers grow can help alleviate water shortages, including in the Great Salt Lake Basin. And the study found that some farmers in watersheds across the West have reduced the amount of water they use to grow crops by shifting away from water intensive crops like corn and wheat and adapting their irrigation practices to use less water. And interestingly enough, the effort paid off. Water consumption dropped in those areas between 18% and 45%. And the farmers' revenues increased, some by as much as 55%. However, the Great Salt Lake Basin has seen an increase in water consumption for agriculture because they're growing a bunch of alfalfa, a crop that uses a ton of water to feed both cows slaughtered for beef and cows used for dairy. So a big takeaway from this study is that the food we eat and how it's grown has a big impact on how much water we use. And in a Q&A with the Tribune, Brian Richter, the lead researcher behind the 2020 study, emphasized the need for comprehensive water management strategies, including incentives for farmers to transition to less water-intensive crops. You can read the full Q&A at nestletrip.com.